Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about one of the important topic in memory management called virtual memory. So welcome here and we are talking about virtual memory and the name suggest here is that a memory that does not exist. Okay, so a uh, simple definition is a memory that does not exist. Okay, so uh, we are talking about a memory uh, that does not. We have already seen a, a CPU generated address. And that address was a logical address and we have also seen logical address space okay now this is a different concept and huh? this is a totally different concept where where we are talking about a memory uh, that does not exist okay so now the virtual memory technique is allows the execution of the process that may not be completely in the memory okay so this is first point that we can execute a process we can execute process that does not completely in memory reside completely in memory okay so we can execute that process and uh, to, to, demo, to understand this idea, uh, recall that what we have learned about the overlay concept. Recall the concept of overlay where, where program was a needed common program and we have divided uh, assembler into pass 1 and pass 2. So and we have also identified that pass 1 and pass 2 will not uh, simultaneously execute it and their symbol tables and other files may require. <clears throat> So we run the pass one um, and uh, our memory size was less and uh, we kept the pass one in uh, swap space so we can swap in swap out from the disk. So that is uh, somehow the same uh, line uh, this idea about virtual memory that we are uh, execution that may program that may not be uh, completely in the memory. So where will be if it is not in the memory then it will be kept in the disk. Okay. Now, if uh, and this is the this is this is one thing, and the major advantage is that your program can be a quote here and quote here, and the program can be larger than the physical memory. Now, this is the major advantage that we are having for the uh, virtual memory. That program can be larger. Okay, program can be larger. Now, why and how? Okay, now the understand the idea is that if I have only allocated a space uh, for a process to be let's say 400 kilobyte and I allow you to that yes it is fine that if you completely not put the process in the memory it is okay. Okay, so what I can do here my program can be bigger than this size. Uh, let's say 400 kilobyte is the total size. Okay, so now what I can do rest of the files I can keep in the disk. Okay, I can keep the all other files in the disk and as and when required I can take the file in and take the file out. So I can do this uh, in out operation uh, from the disk and whatever required that I can write. And that means I can utilize the same, same space uh, even if you think in terms of this 400 you can I can utilize the space again and again. Okay, so suppose uh, 400 kilobyte is allocated, so I'll just uh, one loaded 400 kilobyte and then again uh, I put brought it into new pages in 400 kilobyte and then I can, can reuse the space again and again. And that means physical memory is no longer a constant and that is the biggest boost. Okay, okay. physical memory is not the constant. Okay. Okay, this technique frees the programmer to the concern of the memory storage limitation. Okay, and the third thing here in this case is allows the process to share file and the address space can also be shared. 
okay so that is the that is the three that is the idea of the virtual memory that somebody ask you what exactly the virtual memory is so first of all allow the execution of the program come not completely in the memory and it frees the user from this uh, idea of uh, limitation of um, larger than the program can be larger than the main memory now what can be the benefits here that we can get right so uh, the major benefit here is the that it the uh, programmer can um, user would be able to write a program extremely large virtual address space okay now that will be no longer a limitation in this case that we can write a program for extremely large virtual address space okay so a program uh, a program would no longer be constrained by the amount of the physical memory and that i already told you and that is one of the major benefits of this because each pro each user program take less less space huh? why less space because it may not be completely in the memory huh? it may not be may not be completely in the memory like overlay and depends upon the requirement we can swap in swap out huh? so in that case what will happen in this case it could take less physical memory then we can run the more program could be run at the same time means we can increase the degree of multi programming and and with this it will be increased in the cpu utilization and the throughput okay so amount of this the, uh, how much idle time huh? utilization will be what idle uh, busy uh, you can say utilization can be simple formula i can write here that uh, bz divided by bz plus your idle time right so that 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 can be the that can be the uh, utilization and throughput number of process co completed per unit time but no increase in the response time or turnaround time because uh, because now it will be more work huh? more work and uh, uh, one process will be in a, even if a round robin schedule uh, it will it will have because more process there so it will take uh, it will take long time to get their turn and that will that will not increase at least not decrease to so not increase the response time less i would be needed to load and swap the each user program into the memory okay uh, so that each program will run faster okay so now because we have a large virtual address space so less io will be needed means we we can we can assign that uh, address space to the different user program and uh, we can assume that this all this program because we don't need to completely put the program in the memory so we can think that there is a large user space and each program will run faster so even i can put the not the entire file single single file i can put here in that in that case so there will be a benefit for the both the system and the user okay and and in addition to the separating logical memory from the physical memory virtual memory also allows uh, allows files and the memory to be shared among the different processes through page sharing okay so we can this allows the very different process to share through the uh, page sharing mode okay so that is the uh, introduction of your uh, virtual memory yeah? the main bottom line is may not be completely in the memory and uh, second bottom line is uh, that you have to remember or immediately should in come in your mind this program can be larger than the physical memory third is your sharing of files and the address space okay and that is elaborated in this benefit part so i hope you understand what exactly the virtual memory is thank you